Because who is this? Guys, I'm back. Apparently, apparently, there is a way to date Rowan. So I'm just trying to check if I can do so. So, let's see. I have no, oh, what's this? Coordinates, you find a scrap of paper has been slipped into your window from outside. So into my window. Someone got crazy looking. Is this a phone number or something? Like, what is this? It's like numbers are upside down, backwards. The paper, the paper is thick and strong as if torn from an old book. It's a series of numbers and markings on it. Some are upside down. GPS coordinates? It's not an IP address. Rotation cipher. Dewey Decimals number. It might... That doesn't look like coordinates. That doesn't look like IP address. It could be rotation cipher or Dewey Decimal number. I'm going to say Dewey Decimal number. You try looking up the numbers as a book classification in a few configurations. Most return no results until you do get one hit. The first six numbers give you a title called Surprising Mystics from 19... 55. You study it for a while, but aren't sure how to use this information helpfully. You set the puzzle aside for now, itching for a more physical challenge. It looks like another beautiful California day outside. What's going on? Let's... Oh! Your eyes happen on the weird slip of paper from the other day. You wonder if maybe it's somehow a phone number. It could be. You pull out the your phone and enter... Why am I entering one? Um, why would it be a phone number? Two? Then? What? No! Zero? I guess those... Okay, zero. Then? I'm going to say seven. You enter in each number that's right side up. Finally, I've been waiting. Who is this? I solved your riddle. There were multiple meanings in the numbers, but good enough. It's Rowan. Come to my house when you have a moment. I have a use for you. Ah, I figured out it was Rowan. They hung up. Okay, so I got Rowan. I was texting him, right? Oh, I was calling him. No texting. Okay, let's go to Rowan. We have uh, unfinished business in this game. You find Rowan waiting outside the mansion. They give you a brief nod. Ugh. I suppose you want me to invite you in for tea, Peek, because people do that. No thanks. I like tea. Why did you send a riddle? It was just a message with multiple layers. Now, let's go. I've waited long enough. I was going to go look for an herb on the mountain. Crowley thought you might want to help. The bird looks at you pointedly from Rowan's shoulder. Crowley is a crow? Pretty bird. Nice to meet you, Crowley. Crowley bobs his head, clicking his beak. Pretty human. Pretty human. Thank you. If he vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Let's get going. I don't know, Herbs. I'd enjoy a hike. Yes. It's settled then. They start walking off towards the hills. You walk together along a narrow trail in silent companionship. Hey, here. Alice once found Laurel Summick and Black Sage here somewhere. Um. Since the hike is over, uh, <laughs> listen, don't get any wild ideas. I need you to do something, please. Rest, just rest here, right on the rock, on this rock. I'll be back. I hope. I don't need, I don't want to get in your, the way. I'll chat with Crowley. 
I'll wait here. I'll chat no. with Crowley. He's coming with me. We'll handle this. Stay put. Aw. I was so hoping the bird can stay. They wade into the underbrush without looking back. You wait for a while. The breeze is soft and the sun is warm. But a guy can only take so much breeze and sunlight. You start feeling antsy. Explore nearby. Wait patiently. Gather some wild wildflowers. Um, wait patiently. Your eyes slide over the landscape, your mind drifting away. You startle at the sound of footsteps and realize you fell asleep. Wow, you actually waited. You must be less chaotic than I assumed. I found the Laurel Samek, but not the Black Sage. I wonder, would you offer a gift? Yeah, let's offer a gift. Uh, what do they like? Oh, maybe a mystery novel. Jeez! Oh, he only needed. Oh, wow. I am confident I will solve the murder before the protagonist if the facts are described in enough detail. <sighs> oh, well, it's too late anyway. What do you wonder? Okay, I didn't see any. What do you wonder? No. It doesn't matter. I have to face this. It's just me now. Lola, I have something important to ask you. Love rank one. Heavy finishers create a temporary gravity well. Pulling enemies toward its center. Interesting, interesting. If you were to wield me, what would be your end goal? Strength, love. <laughs> love. Rowan laughs darkly. Flattery comes so easily to your silver tongue, like music to a songbird. <laughs> they lead you down the mountain silent in thought. At the edge of town, they pull a black rectangle from their pocket. Our dark premise pr prisms are connected. He's talking about his phone. They poke their prism and your phone vibrates. I don't know if our purposes align quite, but call on me if souls need harvesting. Farewell. He's so weird. Or they, right? They are so weird. Farewell for now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Crowley. They go on their separate way, and you head home. Rowan's weird. Our journey is begun. We are the fool. We are the fool. Yep, I'm a fool. You're the fool. Next, the magician. Indeed. Though I've lost my high priestess. Hey, so, I'm really very sorry for how I acted when we met. I was really emotional, and I took it out on you, and that was wrong. Please, can you forgive me? Forgiven. Ugh, I don't hold grudges. Thank you, Godspeed. Uh, a lot of random... Sorry, that was Crowley. <laughs> Though I could use your help, an appraiser is coming to assess my inheritance, and I don't wish to be alone with him. Will you come? Of course. Thank you. All right, already got our next date. This is going to fly by. We're only gonna ever meet at his mansion. The mansion's front door does ha not have a doorbell, only a raven-headed door knocker. Knock gently, knock sharply. Knock sharply. The door is cold against your fingers as you wrap it, wrap it against the door. The door swings open. It seems dark inside. Hello? Just enter. You hesitantly step inside, but it's so dark that it takes your eyes a moment to adjust. <laughs> a hoarse chuckle rasps from the nothing shadow. More. Only this and nothing more? Gosh. Crowley, no jokes right now. Please. Please don't mind him. Thank you for coming. The tea is nearly ready. Nothing more. Nothing more? What are you talking about? You find you're in a sitting room that smells of dusty feathers and moldy fabric. Good day. Welcome. The appraiser will be here soon, but please don't try your usual seduction tactics. He seems both lonely and bitter, which is dangerous. Let's use a light touch. Follow my lead. You know him well. Can I lightly touch you instead? That is too much. Let me say you know him well. No. Not well, no. But he is, he isn't subtle. Nothing more. He thinks he's a hero fent or maybe justice but he's just a knight of swords nothing more 
A knock on the door interrupts you both, which then opens. Well, oh, it's Eric. Oh my gosh, Eric, what are you doing? Well, hello, lovelies. I wasn't expecting Lola as well. You're a scythe, scythe for sore eyes, ha? Huh? Hmm. Are you here to bid on the estate items as well? Just a friend. I'll outbid you. Let Rowan answer. I'm gonna let Rowan answer. You sip your tea delicious, layered, and Rowan meets your eye with a small, grateful smile. Lola is my associate, serving as a witness. That is it. That is all. Would you like some tea? I harvested, I harvested the leaves just this morning. No. I'd rather not waste time, no matter how exciting. My store has to be closed while I'm here, after all. Let's just see the blades and be done with it. Rowan brings out a long silk wrap package that they unwrap to reveal a sword and a sickle. They're family heirlooms from the British side of the family. Well, the sword is in the style of ancient Britain around 2000 years ago. It's fine workmanship for a replica. I'd give you 300 for it. Rowan clears his throat, their throat and speaks almost too quietly to be heard. No. It's not a replica. Ugh. This isn't 2000, a 2000 year old sword, my dear MB. Be reasonable. It's the blade that Budica wielded when she defeated the Romans and chased them from Wales. Ugh. Eric blinks, then blinks again. He clears his throat awkwardly, gathering his thoughts. First of all, Budica didn't defeat the Romans. They defeated her, sadly. <sighs> Imperial, imperialist pro propaganda. Second of all, if you think this blade is more than 50 years old, you're dumber than you look. How dare you? How do you know? Don't interrupt. Whether you're trying to deceive me or have been deceived is immaterial. Do you have a certificate or some other documentation I can inspect? Rowan doesn't respond. Eric snorts and turns his attention to the sickle. Here, there is a bit of family resemblance. Hmm. What is this, a cousin? You tell me. Hmm. Well, it's potentially a bit older than the other, maybe a hundred years or so. What is this crest? You're the expert. Now, now, don't soak. It ruins your pretty forehead. The crest adds a bit of exotic flavor. Not many collectors of sickles, though. So, it'd also be 300. I see. Hmm. So do we have a deal? You won't get a better offer anywhere. Nevermore. Nevermore. <laughs> Tell your pigeon to let the adults do the negotiation. Negotiating. And I'll increase my offer to 350. Facts. Look. If you think being called a pigeon is an insult, you're hopeless. Everyone knows pigeons are the most romantic of birds. You should go now. You should just go. Ah. 400. But that's my final offer. Why not reap the benefits of my expertise, huh? I said leave now. Eric hesitates and looks at you, a faintly defiance in his eyes. Get out. I'll force you. I'll force you if I have to. Sip your tea. <laughs> I'm just going to stay quiet. Your tea seems to taste even better as you watch Rowan transform. You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you, Eric? Eric makes a hasty escape. I feel like he transforms with his bird, so it's both of them. Ah, well. I should have known better than to trust a profane merchant. Besides which, his aura seems to be sickening, as if it were rotting. I wouldn't have sold them to him, even for millions. I was mostly curious. What is the sickle? Do you have money? What will you do? What is the sickle? Hmm. The sickle belonged to Takga, the great druidist of holy fire. I wanted to know what was, what that was worth to people today, and now I do. I s wish Atlas were here to tell me what to do next, but then I wouldn't have this problem, huh? Crowley perns Eric Rowan's, wow, why is that Eric? Rowan's hair gently, making a soft clicking sound. Thank you for your support today. Lover rank two, let's see. Gravity wells also do damage over time to any enemy affected by them. That's good, right? Gravity wells explode and do damage when they expire, which is pretty awesome as well. 
I like the overtime one. You said you wanted to wield me for love before. Today, you were very passive. But I know I urge sub subtlety, so that's what I asked for, right? Yeah, you did ask for that. I don't know how I earned your loyalty, but I am glad I have it. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah. Uh, would you like a camera? How about blue lipstick? I guess you love it. I don't know why. The perfect shade for the winter solstice. I'll save it for then. Thank you. Goodbye. Good goodbye. Crowley, that's a bit abrupt, but yes, I will look forward to the dunge if you want to wield me. Perhaps we can go sightseeing. Terrible pun. I like that. Very well. Excellent. Good day then. You head home. All the weapon puns. Oh, oh, oh. Messages. You and Eric have an unhealthy resonance. I would avoid him if I were you. Are you jealous? I'm trying. I pity him. Are you jealous? <laughs> He's gonna say no. Only of attention you pay him. He is undeserving. Take care. It's surprising to me, but I've started looking forward to our outings. Is it strange to want to be used? Not so strange. I like using you. <laughs> That's so terrible. I like using you. Maybe we are simply symmetrical. Even so, maybe we should have an outing that isn't functional. Maybe I've been spending too much time with the moon. Let's get some sun at the park. Sure. Thank you. All right. All right. This is a uh, this is interesting adding new dates. Pacifica Park. You find Rowan staring off into the distance as a cat creeps up on them. Crowley seems nervous. Nothing more. And nothing more. The cat hunches down, ears flat, eyes fixed on Curly, preparing to pounce. Watch out, bad kitty. Pocket, stop. Wait and see. Pocket, stop. <laughs> Curly makes a low call, a bit like laughter. The last cat that tried to eat Crowley lost an eye, I believe. Pocket pauses, tail lashing. Pocket turns and walks away nonchalantly, as if entirely unconcerned. See, Crowley? No need for violence. Words have power. And what about you, Lola? How will you handle the forces that haunt you? Hunt you? I'm being hunted? I can handle my any attack. You'll protect me. I'm being hunted? I'm being hunted? Yes. Surely, at the very least, we are all hunted by death. Slowly but surely. He's so dramatic. Or they are so dramatic. Alice, my grandmother. I knew it. Grandmother was the strongest witch I'll probably ever meet. And even she wasn't enough. But I feel unprepared for how to care for her effects. The physical things all clean up nicely. But what about her digital remains? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Hush. Oh, hush, Crowley. I know you put your pictures online for all to see. No shame. He does what now? What kind of pictures? He has too many followers as it is, Lola. Don't encourage him. Now that you think of it, you realize you've seen Crowley before in a, vi a few viral videos. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> Alice was also active on the line. On a line. Online? Many profiles and comments and so on. In the real world, our oils and tracks are worn away. Many as our spiritual energies fade on that plane. Hmm. Is it the same for digital traces or are they permanent? It depends on the website. They'll be de deleted eventually. I never thought about it. <sighs> I suppose nothing can be truly permanent, but even the mountains, not even the mountains, no matter how much I might want it. If she didn't fade, it would also make it harder to let her go. And she would want me to move on. She was a big believer in growth. Her weapon shape was even a garden trowel. That is so freaking awesome. Even gardening tools. Sorry. You're probably tired of me talking about her. No, you can keep talking about her. It's okay. I just don't have anyone else to talk to. Huh. You mean, you know what I mean. Someone who isn't also grieving. Someone more normal. But maybe my sense of normal is a bit skewed. How often do you think about death, Lola? When I have to, often. Just on my birthday. When I have to. Uh, I cannot believe that's healthy, especially for one who kills with such frequency. If one deals death as a profession, such as a wielder, it's irresponsible not to consider the consequences. Ah, 
Thanks for the flower crown. Though we should contemplate life as well. Speak of which, we made this for you together. Pretty human. Pretty human. It's cute. Thanks, both of you. Rowan and Crowley each make a small bow, seeming pleased with themselves. But there are other, even more clarifying activities for growth. Love magic, for example. I've done some calculations and it seems we may have compatible energies. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah. Another lipstick, I guess. Wait. No. I don't because it'll be a waste of an item. You decide not to give a gift right now. Would you enjoy it if our bodies were to meet? Uh, ritualistically, but also physically? Uh, what? Maybe? I don't know. Uh... Maybe? Sorry, I can't see I've startled you. Let me ask this in a different way. Hmm. Would you be interested in a kiss? We may or may not explore sex later as you wish. No, just friends. Yes, I like that. Just romance, no sex. Ah, uh, I want to just be friends. Rowan bows their head in understanding. Lover rank three. He, he came off so awkward about asking for a kiss. It's so weird. Deadly momentum. When an enemy dies, get a brief damage boost that can stack up to three times. Yes. Very well. I'll find a more suitable partner for my love magic in time, I am sure. I appreciate the clarity. Very well. I have a lot to think about. Thank you, Lola. Bless B. Blessed B. You head home. I got a bit sunburned, but I'm glad I saw you and had the bravery to ask you. Thanks for the time. For now, the dunge awaits us. Okay, let's dunge. Let us dunge. Let's go here to La Rosa and dunge together. Wait. Wait a second. Points carry over to the next level, it seems. I've been wasting my points. Let's go straight from level one all the way up. The acoustics here are strange. Perhaps it is interdimensional. Oh. I'm just too powerful. I don't need it. I know you don't need the money. You're you live in a mansion. That's it. I guess next level with you. I don't need it. So even though he's not fully leveled up, I'm still too powerful. Might as well buy everything here, right? Ah, uh, yes, spirits. Did I ever tell you about the time I met Jack Daniel? Duh, Jack Daniel. Hmm. He's a bit of a narcissist, even after death, but energetic. If you let him talk about himself after death, name dropping? 
After death? Well, I spoke with his resonance echo more than his spirit per se, but yes. Fame is powerful in the emotional realm. People like Mr. Daniel thrive there. His whiskey's reportedly often not the best, but he said that wasn't the point. He had other goals. What goals? Rowan shrugs uncertainly. I didn't want to interrupt. The connection was weak. He probably sought the usual love or power or both. Rowan's eyes you thoughtfully, but shrugs again, standing and stretching. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah. Uh, this lipstick. Red as blood, binding our destinies together. I love it. Thank you. Enough of this. I mean. Oh, another rest area. We can play if you like. I'm not terrible. I'll defeat you. Rowan's eyes glitter darkly with pleasure. We'll see. You can break if you like. You blink. Wait, are you actually good at pool? I'm terrible. I'm great. I get by. You play your best against Rowan, who seems to toy with you, prolonging the game. Eventually, they sink the eight ball with a sigh. I had hoped you might be a prophet. At least you have a fighting spirit. Thanks for the diversion. The monsters await us. I hope you're as merciless when it comes to the monsters. They hold their hilt out to you in invitation. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, uh, this camera. I guess. Photographs are a beautiful kind of deception. Don't you think? I'll make good use of it. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you decorated this place is festive. It wasn't me. You're welcome. Mm. I didn't realize this sort of thing was to your taste. I suppose we don't know each other very, that well after all. They stare into your eyes with unnerving intensity, unblinking. <sighs> yes, I suppose that's how it has to be, I see. Well, then. Huh? Nothing to worry yourself over. Let's continue. He didn't like that answer. Ooh, another one. <sighs> Rowan breathes in deeply, enjoying the summer night air. They pause, look at you thoughtfully. Hmm. Perhaps it's the moonlight, but you look especially powerful here and now. I've leveled up. Are you trying to flirt? You finally noticed? Their cheeks flush slightly. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, uh, a necklace. I've been wanting fine gold chain. Perhaps your psychic abilities are growing, Lola. <laughs> it's a shame we can't fight under the moonlight all the time. We would, we have to appreciate what we have while we have it, I suppose. All we have is this moment. Let's make the most of it. All right, guys, we just finished the dungeon with Rowan. So let's uh see what he has to say. Urgent, have you seen Crowley? Only with you. Uh, no. He's gone, really gone. I don't know what to do. I'll be right there. I guess I was the last one to write. Yep. Let's go see uh, Rowan back at his mansion because he's mostly only ever at his mansion. Good day. You find Rowan pacing back and forth, distressed. Wow, Crowley. Uh, without Crowley being on his shoulder, it looks uh so empty. Future. Was it Damon, perhaps, or a vengeful spirit? This has never happened before. Maybe I drove him away. I have been difficult lately. I've looked everywhere. I've set out his favorite snacks. It's been two days and no sign. We'll keep looking. It'll be okay. Take a deep breath. Um, we'll keep looking. But what if we never find him? What if he actually really gone? I just lost Alice. I can't stand to lose him too. It'd be more efficient to split up and look. But I don't want to be alone right now. I don't want to be alone ever, really. That's why I got a, famil a familiar in the first place. Oh, Crowley's a familiar. Where should we start? I'll follow you. The mountain. The pet store. I think the mountain, right? I would think the mountain. Yes. Yeah. 
Then we'll have a good view of the town and our voices will carry further too. We've no time to waste. You trek up the mountainside calling for Crowley. Crowley! Only the breeze blows in response. Gro Rowan grits his, their teeth, clearly gathering resolve. If he really is dead then, I hope it was swift and painless. He's not dead. Don't think about that yet. He's not dead. You can say things will be okay, but you don't know that. You don't know anything. I prefer to live in reality, not daydreams, Lola. I wish you would too. I just, uh, let's keep looking, okay? They avert their eyes from you and walk towards the beach. You follow, unsure what to say. Crowley! There's no sign of the raven. The seagulls play in the winds over the ocean. Crowley, you idiot. Where are you? When I first found, bound Crowley to me as my familiar, he was just a fluffy, fluffy little chick. I knew I'd probably outlive him, but I thought I'd have more time. It's only been six years. Don't give up yet. Can you magically summon him? No. Uh, it's not magic. It's advanced mathematics. Different elements resonate and correspond. Never mind. Anyway, I tried, but he's gone. Either on another plane or doesn't want to answer. Rowan wipes at their eyes, clearing their throat at dusk. As dusk gives way to night. A familiar woman approaches from down the beach, looking worried. Hey. Hey, Lola. Rowan. Everything okay between you both? I heard some shouting. Everything's under control, Mandy. Lola is just helping me look for Crowley. Aww. Your familiar is gone missing? That doesn't sound like him. I know. He's been acting strange for a few days now. Sorry. I haven't seen or heard anything. I'll let you know if I do. You're a bird watcher? We have it under control. Rowan's a vampire too? No, Rowan's been in the sunlight. You're a bird watcher? Mm -hmm. Of a sort. I'll ask around at the club. See you both later, I hope. She treks off down the beach thoughtfully. Rowan releases a long breath as a sigh. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I've been snappish. Between that and threatening you, my temper is getting the better of me. Let's just take a break and regroup at home. T will help us think. Good idea. Rowan nods, scanning the skies one last time before turning homeward. You walk back to the mansion together in an awkward silence. Rowan closes the door behind you and hesitates, brow furrowed. Do you smell that? It's like tea is brewing already. Nevermore. Crowley! What in the name of all the goddesses are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. The raven looks away, coughing. Nevermore. Nevermore. Crowley flutters up onto Rowan's shoulder and starts softly printing their hair. Well, once was enough. I'm not forgiving you that easily. I was very upset. Rowan turns to you. They seem, they still seem emotional, but you notice their shoulders are more relaxed than before. Thanks for all of your help today, Lola. Without you, it would have been truly been a nightmare. Love rank four. Implicable. Implicable? Gravity wells last longer. Gravity wells are bigger. I like bigger. Mind if we postpone our tea? I need to give this irresponsible bird a thorough thrashing. See you in the dunge. I can wield you. Don't hurt him. See you in the dunge. Rowan gives you a slight smile. The first you've seen them manage all day. You head home. Nice. It seems Crowley was a little jealous of you, maybe insecure too. He's not really used to me having friends. On the plus side, he's bonded with he's bonded with good old Roosevelt. That's that's very cute. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the fuss. Crowley is sorry too. No problem. Are you okay? Yes, I appreciate you asking though. Thanks. So, if I leave and come back. Boo-boo. 
Will I get more messages? I have to go back into the dunes, right? Pass the day. Pass the day. Yes, let's go together. Let's go straight to the 11th floor. This was uh, insecurities, right? Fear of change. This place is so dark and empty. Back home. It is. I like that. Look how big that is. I don't need any of these items. I don't know why I'm collecting them. What type of ice cream he would like? You each pick an ice cream. Rowan nibbles half-heartedly as a, at a strawberry cone. Ah, ice cream. A true delight. Once reserved only for kings and pharaohs. Now, every child tastes it. Before they're old enough to even know what it is. Is that bad? That's progress. Yes. Just so, I try to cultivate gratitude to appreciate how comfortable my life is. I say try because I don't always succeed. It's difficult to be grateful when you lose the people you love. It is. Their silence for a moment, ice cream slowly melting. Thank you for this com companionable time together. That is a gratitude I can feel easily. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. Because once again, I'm broke. I'm not broke. <laughs> you finish your ice cream and return to the dunge. So no choice in what ice cream. Where's the exit? I'm just looking for the exit. That was fast. Is the exit this way? No exit. No need for money. Ooh, okay. Hmm. A symbol is powerful. It summons the essence of a thing. The ideal we all hold. Crowley here is just a raven. One among millions. Pretty bird. Yes. Yes, you are my favorite raven. But you are not the idea of ravens. Hmm. Whereas here, we have the idea of cats. Or one aspect. What does it depict to you? Hunting. Cuteness. Hunting. Rowan nods thoughtfully. Let us take strength from it. Then, as we return to our monster hunting. Onward. Onward! You hear a tapping on your window. You see Crowley pecking at the window with a scrap of paper clutched to in his talons. Open the window. What do you want? I'm going to open the window. Duh. Crowley... Hops inside and performs a small bow before presenting you with a note. The note reads, Dear Lola, I invite you to join me in a meditation at St. Drogo's. At the bottom, there's a roughly scratched sorry. Crowley clicks his beak, watching you curiously. Give him a tip. I'm going to give Crowley a dollar. Goodbye. Crowley's feathers bristle and he shakes his head. He then <laughs> hops out the window and flies out of sight. You put the note away. That's funny. I seriously gave him. Oh, now I realize these are all the bosses in the game. My plushies are all the bosses. That is pretty amazing. So where is this St. Drogo's? Oh, St. Drogo. Oh, it's a church. Okay. Meditation in a church. You find Rowan standing quietly to the side, unmoving. Lola, you came. Apologies for sending Crowley, but I'm tired of my prism. It makes me anxious. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Technology does that. Hence why I'm here. Though I wasn't sure if you practice meditation. I don't really. I do sometimes. I don't really. This place is suited to it. The ley lines, the incense, the acoustics all contribute to a peace of mind. I was hoping it would grant me some freedom from, from my darker thoughts. No luck yet. It's been some time since Alice passed on and I still can't seem to let her go. Everything reminds me of her, even places I've never been. I feel her everywhere. 
She'd want me to move on, but I just can't. Crowley gently perns Rowan's hair with uh, his beak, Rowan sighs. Have you lost someone close to you, Lola? You seem so energetic. I have lost someone close to me. My dad passed away years ago. <laughs> Rowan smiles ever so slightly, a hint of self-mockery in their eyes. Of course, it's nothing unusual. And here I was, in the depths of self-pity. It gives me strength to see how you bear your burden. You look, you make it look easy, and I know it isn't. Love rank 5. When an enemy dies to a gravity well, you automatically get 3 stacks of the boost. Wow. That's awesome. So... It's automatic. That's crazy. Their gaze at the statues of saints and angels thoughtfully. They gaze at the statues of saints and angels thoughtfully. I read that in modern courtship rituals, people swipe right when they don't like someone. It seems dangerous. <laughs> you could sever an artery like that way. I'm glad I haven't been rejected so forcefully. Right means you do like them. Wrong kind of swipe. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna say right means you do like them. Ugh. What? Well, maybe that's why I haven't been swiped then. <laughs> Hermitude has its advantages. I come here to remind myself why solitude is healthy. Saint Drogo is the patron saint of the unattractive. Interesting. I find his self-imposed seclusion comforting. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have any. I made a show about love magic before, but who knows if that compatibility would even be constructive. Given my ambitions to master the arcane, I should be grateful that we will remain only friends. It's probably best that Crowley and I remain on our own, devoted to study. It'd be a good life well spent. What would Alice say? But will you be happy? You deserve love too. Mm, what would Alice say? They jump, startled to hear the, that name spoken. She, uh, well, I suppose she would look at us and she'd say, That Lola seems like an awfully good friend. Don't let him get away. I mean, I just want to appreciate you and your time spent with me while I have it. Let's let's stop talking about embarrassing things and just meditate for a while together. Can you show me? Close your eyes. With your eyes closed, you feel your breath lengthen and your body relax into a deeper awareness. In that moment of peace, you feel Rowan's present beside you, presence beside you more strongly than ever. The way he's dressed, right? Eventually, you open your eyes and share a smile with Rowan. What is this? That symbol uh, next to his head is so cute. <laughs> Thank you for that, Lola. I think I think Alice will be honored by our time here. Farewell. I hope we can do it again sometime. Yeah, sure. You head home. Let's get to level six already. Oh, you're texting. I guess a prison is easier for chatting than Raven Notes. So... What kind of tea are you drinking today? Oops, forgot you don't like tea. Hmm. What kind of beverage are you drinking today? Coffee, soda, juice, nothing. Coffee's fine. I like coffee. I see. It seems this is not as fascinating a topic, perhaps, as I first thought. Let's just fight monsters as if I didn't waste your time. Thank you. <laughs> I guess he hates coffee. He's like, mmm, coffee, yeah, mmm. <laughs> Let's go into the dunes. Defeat this monster real quick. The fear of intimacy. The acoustics here are strange. Perhaps it's interdimensional. Beware, Lola, if you come closer, your weapon will see your true heart. I know. We did this multiple times already.
Simple, easy. I wish I could walk right in there again. Masterful execution. I feel closer to you already. It's pleasant. Nice. I just need you to reach level 6 already. Text me! Nothing. 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 Oh! Finally, I've done it. I made contact with Alice. Oh, wrong button. Or at least my deepest concept of her. Her ghost? Are you okay? Is she okay? Is she okay? Well, she was rather angry with me. I guess I can't blame her. i like to see you and explain our next phase. Want to take a walk with me? I'm up on the mountains. What phase? Come if you want to know, or don't if you don't. I'll be here. That's a way I answered someone in the past. It's kind of, it is kind of rude, but this is this is interesting. Lover's Peak. This is what this is called, huh? She's Dang. angry that Oh, you're dressed up! Rowan is looking out over Verona Beach Beach in unusual attire. You look great. Is there a dress code? Laundry day? Is there a dress code? Hmm, no, no, you're fine. I, in trying to reach beyond the veil, symbols and metaphors are powerful. I thought maybe wearing our traditional family robes might help. And maybe it do it did. Either way, I found Alice in my heart and she really lashed me. Called me a coward and a weakling. When it comes to how I treat you, she said she was disappointed in me. She expected better. That's harsh. I'll follow her. How do you feel? I'm not sure. What she said was true. I've been leaning on you and on Crowley too much. It's been unbalanced. Unbalanced. You're my best friend. Always there for me. You've shown me so much patience and generosity of spirit. Yes. Love a rank. Love rank six. Let's see. Deadly momentum can stack up to five times. Deadly momentum lasts longer. I like the five times stack. And yet I've taken advantage of your kindness. I'm sorry for that. It's not right. I always call you in a crisis to help me with grief or with Crowley or with everything. It's fine. It's like I've treated you almost as a tool, a medicine, or a playmate. You deserve better. You deserve better as well. You've helped me grow as a scythe and as a person, sharpening me. I want to do the same for you. You do help me. You've been struggling. Don't sharpen me. <laughs> Don't sharpen me. You do help me. Thank you for saying that, but I could be doing so much more. I could be doing so much more so as well. Now on, I want to be equally giving. Mmm. Halfway. Nice. Ever since I first met you, I loved letting you be in control. But I should contribute too. What are you talking about? You were in control in the beginning. You wanted me to stay silent and everything and just wait. If we're going to be long term friends, I want us to be equals in all things. We each have strengths. We do. But I plan to use mine to help you more often. I can already feel Alice approving. We're on the right track. But if I backslide, I hope you call you'll call me on it. Habits can take time to break. I promise. Rowan releases it. Exhalation of relief. Thank you. Oh. Uh, Crowley mutters something softly into Rowan's ear. Rowan nods. Mm -hmm. And Crowley got you the these his friends will be quite jealous they hand you a handful of small round beads of glass i don't need those anymore i don't have any more gifts to make pretty human pretty human <laughs> so what's new with you any interesting people you met monsters you've destroyed you walk down the mountain as the sun sets filling them in on recent events and chatting may i offer you a cup of Drinking chocolate gifted to Alice by M Mayan nobility. That sounds amazing. It's a family treasure, but I'd like to share it with you and give you the full tour of the estate. I would love that. Could you spend the night? If you could spend the night if you want it. I like that as friends. Rowan leads you inside and you spend a quiet evening together wandering the mansion. You learn 
about arcane artifacts and occult history than you thought possible. More about those things than you thought possible. Rowan asks you a few strange questions that seem like non sequiturs, then tilts their head thoughtfully. Crowley mutters something softly into Rowan's ear. Rowan nods. You don't need any more stress right now. But after this business with Eric is resolved, if you're curious, I could train you in the arts. You have remarkable aptitude. I'm already a roller lock. The magical arts? I'm already a warlock. Well, then perhaps I can help you expand your practice if you want it. <laughs> you chat into the night until you start to feel sleepy and head home. You have reached max love rank with Rowan. Yeah! I did it, guys. I know you must return to your home soon. Crowley seems to think you can't fly, but I told him, surely not. I can in an airplane. Crowley's right. <laughs> I can in an airplane. Ah, of course. Technology also has its uses. Not that it matters, really. The important thing is that you will be far away. For a time, anyway. Our paths are forever intertwined. Definitely. I hope it is friendship that binds us more than wounds we take from that katana. Time will tell. All right, guys. We got max level. Max level with every weapon. Especially the scythe. Yes. This has been very interesting. I might have to play one more time to see if there's different endings if I go into the final battle with a different weapon. I already fulfilled the fight with the dagger with Valeria. Thinking that doing so would permanently have her us dating but i guess that's not this type of game so i want to see if something changes if i do that and and before also also roland wasn't in the ending credits as well so i want to see if he is in at the beach with us when uh when we're when on our last day when we're gonna leave so thank you so much for joining me guys this has been lola nako playing boyfriend dungeon Bye bye